Good morning and welcome to Be Fit Live. It's Monday, so if you're looking for some motivation from the weekend, you're in the right spot. We have with us today our Be Fit Ambassador, Roy Montez, and special guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. Roy, how are you doing? Sergeant Berry, how are you guys doing today? Leah, hi, so good to be back. Thank you so much. Excellent. Sergeant Barry. Good morning. Happy Monday. Good deal. Well, Roy, are you ready to take it over? So you guys, he's going to take you through a live workout at home. All of these things you can do from your home. Roy and Sergeant Barry are both doing them from their homes. So Roy, if you're ready, Let's go. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. So thank you so much. First off, welcome BFit Nation. Welcome back to another Monday, another BFit Live where we channel and progress ourselves to through a live workout from our homes. Uh, both Sergeant Barry and, and myself are from our homes. So you may hear or see uh, live movements going on, but it's all part of our live workout uh, viewpoints here. So Again, today we are gonna uh, stick with our same schedule here. We're going to tackle four movements here. So four workouts, we're gonna go four rounds with 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest uh, after each movement and one minute rest after each round. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, okay? So I will run through a brief demo of the four exercises. We'll go into some dynamic stretching to get our minds prepared to get our bodies in tune with how we are feeling this morning, and then we'll kick off through our workouts, okay? So exercise number one, we are gonna do a squat thrust. Again, we're, we're building off of foundation movements that we've uh, previously uh, accomplished throughout the, uh, I think we're on 12, 13 week of, of our BFIT Live. So if you have stuck with us, a quick shout out to everyone, all of, all of our BFIT Nation that have stuck with us throughout the weeks and I hope you are progressing and enjoying and picking up some different movements that you can incorporate into your uh, daily workout routines. So squat th thrusters is gonna be on the, on the warm up for, on the exercise, first exercise. So each of these can be accomplished with the weight, with a dumbbell, with a gallon of water, or just your own body weight here. So squat thrusters, we're gonna make a fist. We are going to make sure and go squat all the way down and then pull all the way up, and then you want to extend your hands all the way above your chest. So keep those hands together if you do not have any resistance. If you have a, a dumbbell, go ahead and grab that dumbbell and just pivot all, all the way down, squat down, making sure your, your glutes are dropping first, hinge at the hips, squat down, up, and all the way through to the top. That's gonna be exercise number one. That's your squat thruster. Exercise number two, movement number two, we're going to airplane. So body weight only here. We are going to stand on one foot. So left legs down, right legs up into that 90 degree, forcing us to balance and stabilize, utilizing our core. We are gonna start here with our hands in front of us. And we are going to extend, clenching our fists from the, from the, uh, from your in, from the middle here, clenching our fists and extending all the way back, bringing those shoulder blades together just like a reverse slide that we did last weekend, but no weight here, back to center and extending all the way out, forcing us to balance on that one leg. Okay, and then we'll do that for 20 seconds and we'll switch legs and then we will again, come back out, come to center and extend all the way out. That's gonna be your airplane. That's your second exercise. Our third is gonna be a reverse lunge with a three repetition row, okay? So we're gonna take one large step back here to a reverse lunge position. Left legs forward, right legs back. And we are just going to row here. Our chest is gonna be over our quad. If you do not have any weight, go ahead and make your fists here. Just row three reps, back to center, back to our starting point. And our left leg is gonna go all the way back here. Again, chest is gonna be over our quad. We're looking forward. Our chest is gonna be nice and visible and we row three reps and then back to the top and alternate, okay? And fourth, our fourth and final exercise for the round 
we are going to round out with a plank pull, okay? So we're gonna get into a high planks position here. Again, if you are comfortable with the, just holding this high plank for 40 seconds, that's what we're gonna live and that's okay. If you do not have any weight, uh, that's okay either. Just go ahead and tap the side of your body here, of your hand position here. But if you do have a plate of some sort, we're gonna go ahead and just slide that weight right on over, making sure that our body doesn't move, doesn't sway, our hips don't dip. Not today, oh, we don't want our hips to dip today. And uh, those are gonna be the plank pulls, okay? That's gonna be exercise number four to round out this workout. But before we get into the workout, let's go ahead and go through some dynamic stretching. Okay, this is gonna, this is where we take our time to really figure out where our body is at today, where our mind is at, to try and get our mindset ready to work and on the same page here, okay? So dynamic stretching to get things started. Let's go ahead and start off with some knee hugs here. We'll do about 30 seconds of each of these movements here. Again, this is a, a great time to set aside some you time, set aside some me time, really find out where your body is at this morning, this evening or this afternoon, wherever you may be watching from. Drop us a note on where you're watching from and what your favorite exercise is from today's workout. Again, really just hugging these hips, trying to open up our hips. Okay, let's move into a dynamic quad stretch here. I'm gonna start off with my uh, left leg, left hand quad stretch here. And I want you to reach all the way up with your right hand, all the way up to the sky, reach two, one, and switch. Right leg's up, right hand grabs it. Left arm is all the way up, reaching to the sky. Nice and easy, nice and controlled at your pace here. Take a little bit of extra time if you need it. Feel that stretch. Again, just making some time for ourselves. There we go. Nice work. One more on each side here. Feel that stretch all the way up. Try and stretch out a little taller than before. Good, 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 okay. Reverse lunge reaches, okay? Let's go ahead and go all the way back into our reverse lunge, set in that position and reach all the way over. Feel that stretch, feel that stretch in your lat. Alternate at your pace here. <clears throat> really focusing on getting some blood flow to our hips, to our glutes, to our quads. Feeling that stretch in our lats all the way over, your hands extended up so you can feel that stretch in your shoulder. All of these movements, all of these body parts we're gonna be working today. So it's nice to get these movements and your body nice and warmed up before we go ahead and tackle some work here and add some resistance. <sighs> All right, last one here. And then we're gonna move into lateral lunges here, okay? Feet are all the way more than shoulder width apart. Large, large step here. We're going to lean over to our right, back to our center and lean over to our left here. You're gonna feel a nice stretch. Again, your inner thigh here, really getting some blood flow. <clears throat> into these lower body muscles here because they are gonna work today. We have lower body, we're tackling our back, our shoulders are gonna get a workout, our core and stability are gonna feel the work today. So I hope you're ready. Okay, and last but not least, hinge reaches. We're gonna hinge at the hips here. Our arms are extended all the way up, slowly 45 degrees here, hinging at the hips and back up. Keep those arms nice and tall, nice and reach overhead. Let's go at our own pace here. All right, warming up that lower back. 
just like a deadlift. <clears throat> Working on that shoulder mobility here. Your head's gonna be through those arms. Go ahead and hinge at the hips here. Keep that spine nice and long. Back is flat. <clears throat> Just a few more. Two, one, time. All right, let's go ahead and shake that out. Towel off, grab some water if you need. <clears throat> and let's get to work. I know I'm coming to you from my outdoor apartments here, so. It is about 91 degrees. It feels like 95 and the humidity is at 77%. So <laughs> a little warm here. All right, grab some water, stay hydrated. Turn on the fans, turn on the AC if you need. <laughs> All right, squat thrusters in 10, okay? Again, no weight here. First round, we're gonna learn it. Second round, we are gonna own it here. All right, my hands are together and I'm down for working here. I'm squatting all the way down, hinging at the hips. My arms, my butt, my, my glutes are going back first and I'm raising at the top here, okay? All the way down as if you were picking something off of the floor. Again, drop those hips down to your comfort here. Raise up to your chest and extend over your head. We are halfway there with 15 more seconds of work here. Again, again, this is a great compound movement where we are targeting our full body. Three, two, one, and time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here and we'll move on to our second exercise. Airplanes, all right, let's tackle in 10. My left leg is down. Again, my left leg is down, my right leg is back. I'm here and I'm extending all the way out in three, two, one. Let's work, 40 seconds of work here. Again, try and focus on, <clears throat> try and focus on looking at one spot on the floor here. You want your head to be in a neutral position. You also wanna work on stability and your balance here. So you're gonna feel your ankles, your calves trying to work, your glutes. All right, we are halfway there. Let's go ahead and alternate. Right leg is down, left leg moves back, back to center and extend all the way up, okay? Bring that knee nice and high, and extend all the way back. Working on that balance, two, one, and time. 40 seconds in the books there, 20 seconds of rest, and we will move into a reverse lunge with a three repetition row. 10 seconds left here of rest. Again, what that looks like is my left leg is forward, my right leg is going all the way back, and I'm rowing here in three, Two, one, reach all the way back there with that leg. One, two, three repetitions of row. Come back to the starting position. Reach all the way back with that left leg now. One, two, three, back to the start. Regroup, reach all the way back. One, two, three. Again, you really wanna focus on bringing those shoulder blades together here at the top of that row. 15 seconds of work left all the way back with that reverse lunge. Three, at your own pace here. Two, three, nice. And time, good work. 40 seconds flying by, 20 seconds of rest here and we'll move into plank pulls. All right, 10 seconds here and plank pull is a great way to work on our stabilization here for our core. Five seconds here and we're going to a high plank one and work. All right, again, my right arm is touching the outside area of the opposite side here. So my right arm is going over to my left, my left arm over to the right here. Again, really working on stabilization, working on controlling that body movement here. And you really want minimal movement, minimal sway. Try not to dip those hips, keep, those core, keep that core engaged. 17 more seconds of work here. We're less than halfway there. Halfway left here, 10 more seconds. Good work, good work. Keep that body nice and straight. Two, one, and time. All right, one round in. Second round is coming up. We have one minute rest. One minute of rest here, catch your breath. 
hydrate, regroup, and we'll start back over from the top. Mm. Oh, it's nice to stay hydrated here. I drink about, I aim for about a gallon of water a day. So <laughs> that's where I'm at in my water intake. Mm. All right, Beep It Nation, 18 more seconds of rest here. We're gonna start with that plank thrust. Again, body weight, hands together, if you're fine. If you wanna add some resistance here, go ahead and grab, grab a gallon of water here. This is where I'm at, this is where I'm at here. Squat thrusters, let's go. Squatting all the way down. I'm here and I'm thrusting, arms are all the way over. Nice and smooth here. We want to go at our own pace. Whichever, whatever pace we feel comfortable going and moving. Let's go to that. 20 seconds of work is left on our clock. We're moving. We're grooving. We're sweating. Oh, you sweat. We're earning it here. Five seconds left. Two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. We'll move into those airplanes. <clears throat> All right, challenging, challenging movement here. One of my favorites, again, airplanes, no resistance, which makes it even a little harder sometimes. And two, one, my left leg is down, my right leg is up, hands are together at the chest, and I'm extending all the way out, focusing on one position on the floor here. Try and keep that body strong and balanced. Three seconds and we're alternating to our right leg. And let's switch. Right leg's down, left leg is all the way up here. Extend all the way back here. Again, bring those shoulder blades together. Bring those shoulder blades together. Try a little pause at the top here. One, two, nice. Back up top. Two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. Good work. All right. Reverse lunge is up next. Yeah, that one's challenging. It really forces you to balance and stabilize with literally no resistance, which is great. Body weight only, two, one. All right, 40 seconds of work here at your pace. Reverse lunge with row. I'm stepping back. I'm rowing, two, three, Resetting back up top, taking that big step back, rolling up top, three. What's so great about this movement is we're challenging our lower body with stability while working those back muscles in that row here. Again, keep that chest nice and tall. Eight more seconds here at your pace. Five more seconds, get one more rep in. One, two, three. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. Good work, good work. Plank pulls with the push. Plank pulls, plank pulls and 10. All right. Again, I'm gonna up the ante here with a little bit of a resistance. I'm at a high plank and I'm working here. Sliding some weight over. Left side to right side. Right side to left side. Again, balancing, forcing your body to adapt and balance on that one hand. <laughs> Keeping that core nice and tight, that navel retracted, those glutes activated. Try and keep that straight spine flat back here. Seven more seconds of work. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, one more rep. And time. Good work. <laughs> All right. Right? Second round down. We're halfway there. All right. Good work. Good work. Again, I'm telling off. It is extra hot out here today. <laughs> good work. 
And again, these are movements that we've tackled throughout these past few weeks and we're just building and building on our foundation that we're laying, progressing little by little and consistency is gonna be the key here. Consistency, consistency in working out, consistency in staying active, consistency in your diet and nutrition. That's where we're gonna see our results to set ourselves up for success here. Squat thrusters in three, two, one, and let's work here. I'm squatting down, thrusting all the way up. Hands are nice and tall, nice and high here. Again, let's focus, really focus at the bottom. Focus on how that squat feels. Your quads, your glutes are nice and activated as you're raising all the way up. You're incorporating your shoulders, pushing your shoulders, just like a shoulder press. Five more seconds left here. Three, two, one, last rep and time. Good work, awesome work. Third round, we're owning it. Airplanes in 10. All right, my left leg is down. My, le my right leg is going to reach a little further this time. Here we go, let's work. 40 seconds of work here. Hopefully our bodies are nice and warmed up. I know mine are, mine is. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, just with this balance, those small fibers in my hamstrings, in my glutes, they're firing. All right, let's switch. Right leg's down, left leg is all the way extended back out. Almost lost it. <sighs> bringing, those shoulder, bringing those shoulder blades together. <laughs> Seven more seconds. Nice reverse fly. Uh, two, one, and time. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds of rest. And we're going to that reverse lunge with the three rep row. <clears throat> Setting myself up here in five. Reverse lunge with three rep row, grabbing my weight. Two, one, right leg is going all the way back. And three reps here, two, three, nice. Back at the top, all the way back here, two, three, Good, good. Keep that body nice and strong. Keep that back nice and strong. Your posterior chain here is feeling that burn with that reverse stretch. And the rows here, activating those back muscles. You should feel that mid to upper back with these rows. Three more seconds means three more reps. Let's go. One, two, three, and time. Good work. <laughs> All right. Favorite. As if we haven't activated our core enough, we're gonna ISO this core with this high plank. I'm using the dumbbell this time. And let's work here, high plank. My right arm grabs, grabs my dumbbell, just pulls it over to my right side. Left arm grabs and down. Right arm over again. Keeping that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. And if you need more stability, more control, open up those legs a little bit wider. The closer they are, the harder it's gonna be. So again, and if you need to modify, let's go down to the knees here. Keep that high plank position on the knees and move resistance or tap. Three more seconds left here, let's push it out. Two, one, and time. One minute of rest here. You've earned it three rounds in. One more round to go. We are flying by today. <clears throat> Again, if you're just watching, we are actually more than halfway through. Every Monday, so we come to you with a BFIT live workout. Four rounds, four exercises with 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So today we are tackling our full body. Lower bodies feeling it, our back, our shoulders, our core stability. We are on fire and we're moving. Great work, 20 seconds of rest here. Catch your breath, stay hydrated, fan off. 
Hi, Roy. I want to take yeah. a second and just tell everybody who's watching. Also, if you have any questions for Roy, I can read those live for you throughout this broadcast. So let us know if you have any questions about this workout or any of the other BFIT um, information. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from. But also, if you have any questions on the movement, if we need to regress here again, let's make a fist. Come all the way down to your comfort level and extend all the way up and let's move at our own pace. Whichever pace that we're comfortable with, let's move with that pace here. Five more seconds of work. Some of these movements may look challenging. Two, one, 20 seconds of rest here. Let's rest, airplanes are up next. Some of these movements may look a little challenging, but you're strong, I know you are. Small steps will, will get you to your larger goal and to this full exercise. And three, we're moving to airplanes. Left leg's down, right leg is up. And we're moving back here to airplane mode. Airplane mode, turn on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> they always tell us. 20 seconds, I'm sorry, 25 more seconds of work. In five, we're alternating legs. Last rep, all right, let's alternate. Right leg's down, left leg is up, 90 degree bend here. Again, if you're having trouble stabilizing, go ahead and just balance on one foot. Keep a nice, strong position here. Lift that leg nice and high, balance on one leg. Focus on one spot on the floor and rest. 20 seconds of rest here. Reverse lunges are up next. We can always regress the movements that we are doing today. Again, if one foot is too challenging, go ahead and just tap. Or leave one foot on the ground and balance most of your weight on the other. 40 seconds of work here, let's go. My right leg is extending all the way back. Large step back, nice strong row, nice three reps. Back to the starting position here and back into my lunge. Good job. Nice, our chest is over our, our quads here. Nice, strong and controlled movements here. No rush. If you don't have any resistance, that's fine. Keep your hands clenched, making a fist, focusing on on those shoulder blades coming together and time. Good work. Plank pulls are up next. All right, in five, two, one. All right, I'm down high plank position. My right arm is reaching for my resistance, which is my dumbbell. Keeping that body nice and firm, nice and strong. Keeping that core isolated and strong and activated. Keep that core activated. Keep those glutes activated. Let's go at our own pace here. Again, if we just need to tap the opposite side and if we just need to come off of our knees here, drop to our knees, that's perfectly fine. And move that weight. Seven more seconds, let's push. Hold strong, two, one. A long one and time. Good, good work. Sergeant Barry, you are moving. And that is it. That is it. What a way to finish. Nice and strong, nice and strong. Good job team, good job. Each week I keep saying these workouts fly by. And they absolutely do. Four rounds go by quick. It doesn't take long to break up, a, break a sweat. Get your body nice and warm. Your muscles are fired up. A great way to start the day here. Nice and positive, knowing that you just accomplished something really great. This was no easy workout. So again, great challenging workout that we accomplished today. Good job team. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, how are you feeling? Any favorite moves that we did today? I like the whole workout because I'm impressed how it's no kidding. You had a full body workout in in such a short amount of time. I liked, I think the, the um, 
what do we call it? The Superman? Do we call it? Ah, that? yes, the, uh, the airplanes. So the airplane, the, the airplane. airplane. Reminded me of Absolutely. like a yoga move or something, but it felt really good. Right? And I was impressed I didn't fall on my face. So I feel accomplished. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, on the camera, I'm impressed that I didn't fall on my face. <laughs> there were plenty of chances for me to lose my balance there. And it, it, absolutely, it's 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 uh, it's a challenging move just to balance alone to incorporate a reverse fly into that same movement. So, you know, you're asking a lot from your body to really stabilize and balance and activate a lot of posterior chain from your calf, your ankles, your hamstrings, your glutes, your back. You're asking for a lot there. So, we tackled that very well. I'm proud. I'm happy for us. <laughs> it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Again, I hope, I hope um, our viewers that uh, went along with this workout or viewed this workout, please drop us a note in the comments and let us know what your favorite movement was. If you have any questions on any of these movements, uh, feel free and drop a note in the comments below. We try uh, to program each of these movements to complement one another. So we're not really tackling a lot of the same muscle group at once repetition one after another. So if you notice with the squat thrusters, it was a full body, total body warm up here. The airplanes, we were able to regroup with ourselves and just focus on the smaller muscle groups of stabilization, the reverse lunges. We went back into stabilizing and keeping our lower body nice and strong, but then we were able to isolate with that row for our mid to upper back. And then the plank pulls, again, stabilization, core stability, and really focus on those abs and a nice strong trunk to finish off that round. So the grand total body workout under 20 minutes for the workout in total, add in another 10 for that dynamic stretching. And again, a 30 minute window to tackle a workout and move on and progress throughout your day, knowing that you started nice and strong is, uh, is something to feel proud of and, and it's a, a great accomplishment, so good work. An excellent description, Roy. That was really good. Thank you for that. We did have one question. It was about product, TRX product. Um, yes. I believe she was wondering when we will have it back in stock. So I just want to tell you that we we will check on that for you and see if we can find out when those products will be back in stock. Absolutely. And if everyone who's wondering, TRX is a, uh, a suspension um uh, two suspension uh, bands, if you will, not necessarily bands, but uh, you're able to do multiple ranges of workouts within uh, holding and isolating and using your body weight to challenge yourself from a suspension type of uh, uh, equipment. So great uh, equipment. And I know, um, yes. So uh, again, visit online, visit in store if you can. Um, but um great product and, and they are, it'll challenge you very well, especially with these at-home workouts. All good stuff. So. so if that, Roy, if you don't have anything else, then I think that this is it for today. Thank you guys Absolutely. for tuning in. Thanks, Roy. And thanks, Sergeant Barry. Enjoyed it. See you guys next Thank week. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, BFIT Nation. Have a great day. Great week. Let's start and finish this week strong. Mm -hmm. Bye.